Hello, hello, my friends. I am back with another candle review. Today, we are going to be talking about Kringle Candles Reserve Orange. Now, this candle was launched about a month ago. I want to say it was back in early April. And initially, we thought that this candle was only going to be part of three candles that were released on that date. There was this candle, Psychedelic Citrus, and Pear. And Kringle surprised us and went ahead and brought back a bunch of other reserve fragrances that were previously out of stock. So if you happen to see a lot of reserve candle reviews coming up on my channel in the next month or two, it's because, well, why not? If they brought some fragrances back and they're in stock, you guys might want to know how they are performing. So when they initially teased this launch, orange was the fragrance that appealed to me the most. I was kind of on the fence between this one or psychedelic citrus. In the end, you guys know me, I ended up purchasing both of them. But truthfully, orange is the candle that really stood out to me. Now, I am no stranger to citrus fragrances. I have quite a few of them in my collection because I am a citrus lover. And really in the month of May, May, I would say is when I do the most burning, I would say of citrus fragrances. So in this review, we're going to go over what my nose smells. I'm going to share with you, you know, the pour date. I'm going to share with you the performance of this candle. And I'm also going to give like some comparisons to other citrus fragrances that I currently have in my collection and let you know if they burn well with each other. So let's go ahead and talk about the fragrance notes on this candle. Top notes of green, lemon, orange, and mandarin. The top note is not green lemon, it's like green comma lemon. <laughs> Mid notes of lemongrass, red fruit, jasmine. Base notes of tamarind, musk, and amber. So what does my nose smell? This candle to me, it's not as herbaceous as Sicilian orange. So if that green note listed in the top note concerns you, you really don't need to be too worried about that. Um, orange, lemon, mandarin, lemongrass. I mean, we've got all of these notes listed here, which I think some people appreciate. I can see the, um, I can see the benefit of knowing all of the fragrance notes because sometimes um, we can pick up fragrance notes that aren't necessarily listed there. Um, and that can help us develop a complete profile of what we're smelling. But on the flip side, I also think sometimes when too many fragrance notes are listed, we get too inside of our head and then it can cause us to kind of like freeze <laughs> and, st and, and think about the purchase too, more, too much. So what am I smelling here? You guys, this to me, is very much an authentic, fresh orange fragrance. I like that on the picture here, you kind of have like a dew almost on this freshly picked orange because that is really what I am smelling in this candle. It definitely smells like um, what a lot of people have said, it almost smells like orange juice and, and I would agree, but it's not like the overly sugary orange juice that you would get out of the bottle, say at, um, you know, at like a grocery store. However, the other day I was actually inside Sam's club and they were handing out samples of some freshly squeezed orange juice. And it's funny because when I tasted that orange juice, I'm like, mm, and you know, bringing it up to my, to my nose and then eventually my mouth, that smell is what I smell in this candle. It's very authentic. If you are somebody who likes just a good, pure orange fragrance, very similar, you guys, to um, like if you caught my Juicy Strawberry review, which was another reserve candle that Kringle has, um, I, I mentioned in that review that that is probably the most authentic authentic strawberry fragrance that I have smelled. It's not sugary. There's no gourmand element to it. We're not getting any vanilla or even like a lot of sugar in it. Um, I kind of feel like that's the take that they went with, with this candle. I'm not getting any other like conceptual ideas mixed in here with this. It's just a good juicy orange fragrance. As far as that musk and the amber note in the base, I would say maybe I might detect a little bit of amber in there, but I don't believe that the musk or the amber notes are in there to make this a more like quote unquote perfumey type of, type of candle. I believe that those notes are in there more so to give um, kind of that almost maybe like the like juice effect or there's something about it that just emulates a very 
natural, freshly squeezed orange. Overall, you guys, I do like this fragrance. Now let's talk about like in terms of fragrance profile, how does it compare to other orange candles that I have in my collection? So you guys know that I'm a big fan of the Homeworks Valencia orange. That fragrance to me has more of a, what I would say is like kind of an orange popsicle note to it and a creaminess. In fact, the more that I've burned that candle, I think I've come around to the, um, at the conclusion that that is probably a repackage of their orange creamsicle scent. I love that fragrance, but there is more of a creamy vanilla accord with that candle, with it being more of like an orange popsicle. Um, this candle also in comparison to the brand new Bath and Body Works Citrus Grove candle, I am actually burning that candle today in one of the other bedrooms. And I'm gonna tell you guys, on cold sniff, I thought these two were going to be very similar, but upon burn, they are very different candles. They do complement one another, but I will say that Citrus Grove candle, I'm picking up more of like a, um, almost like a woody green, um, I'm picking up orange in that fragrance, but I am picking up almost like the, like an orange tree, which is why I think it's called citrus grove. There is kind of like a woody and green element to that. It's not as herbaceous as the Sicilian orange, but there is kind of something that reminds me of, um, an orange tree, which we have a lot of citrus trees here in Arizona. They usually come into season in the winter time. Um, so I am familiar with what those smell like. Um, other candles that this has been pairing really nicely with which you will probably see a review on this candle um, sometime I would say within the next week or two the blood orange and sage gimlet from Hallmarks it was part of their garden party collection I do believe that that one is still available that one is definitely more of like a good rich blood orange scent and you do get a little bit of um, refreshment from the gin note in that candle um, but it, it's a different fragrance for sure but the two of the, them together complement each other really, really well. In fact, if you caught my early May candle chat, I told you guys that that candle with this one is going to be like my holy grail orange combo going forward because it, it's really, really nice. So that is the fragrance comparison. Let's go ahead and talk about the performance on this candle. So I am at about, oh, I would say what? what would this be? Maybe a third of the way through on the burn of this candle. I've had this one lit for, I would say about two and a half hours now. Um, you can see a nice wax pool. You can also see that the reserve jars now are not as opaque as they were when they initially launched the reserve line. You know, what was that? Maybe two years ago, I would say. Um, they've kind of gone more to a slightly transparent glass, even though it's still the black vessel with the very simplistic label on the front. The performance of this candle, so we've got a clean burn going on. I've always said with these uh, reserve line candles, you don't know if they're sooting because of the black jar. I will say that so far on the burn of this candle, I would give this one without a hurricane probably I would settle on about a five. It's not a powerhouse, you guys. Can I smell it? Yes. Do I smell it a little bit more in like one of the closed concept bedrooms? Yes. Do I smell it as much out in the living room that has high 20 foot ceilings and opens up into my kitchen? No. Um, I, I don't want to say that I don't smell it at all, but it does get lost out in a larger room. So if you are somebody that has a home or an apartment where you have lower ceilings, or maybe your home might be a little bit more of an older style where you have more of a closed concept, you will probably be more likely to smell this one without a hurricane on it. I will say that when I put this into a hurricane, the strength and strength and throw does increase greatly. I would say it bumps it up to about like a seven, seven and a half for me. Um, and then I can smell it out here in the living room, but it still doesn't really travel much. Like if I'm burning it in the living room, it won't really throw into the kitchen from that spot in my living room um, where I typically like to burn these candles. So Honestly, you guys, that really doesn't deter me because, um, like I said, I have so many candles in my collection that I tend to pair them to complement other candles currently that I have. Um, but I, you know, I would like this one to be slightly stronger. Like if we could get this one to be like, eh, 
at least like a seven without a hurricane on it. Maybe then it could bump up to a nine because I really, really like this orange fragrance. But like I said, I'm not really going to be too mad about it right now because with, um, with what I currently have in my collection, it's burning really well with that blood orange and sage gimlet. And uh, I'm not mad about that. So, um, if I'm going to say two thumbs up for this candle, yes, I think as long as you know that like this is not going to be a powerhouse orange fragrance. Um, yeah, and just kind of give, you know, just, yeah, it, it's good. Do I see myself hoarding it and getting backups and backups? Initially, I thought yes. Um, now I'm kind of on the fence just knowing that it's not really a powerhouse performer, but I do like the fragrance in and of itself. And the other caveat that I'm going to throw in here is that I find that especially with these large Kringle tumblers, that the strength and throw can vary greatly depending on where I am at in the burn, like where I'm at in the burn. So what I mean by that is I am, I actually find that my greatest strength and throw usually comes in like this area right here when the wax level is between these where my two fingers are. So you guys will want to stay tuned. Um, I can update you guys in my late May candle chat. And always, you know, if you're subscribed, you guys know that I do empties and then I'll let you guys know completely if this one got any stronger for me. But like I said, I think I'm going to settle on this is a, a five without a hurricane seven with a hurricane. I love the fragrance, complements a lot of other fragrances as well. Um, it is definitely a good juicy orange fragrance. So if that is what you are seeking, then I think that you will like it. I am a Kringle Candle brand ambassador, which means that I do have a discount code with them. These reserve candles very, very rarely go on sale. Um, I think I've only seen reserve candles go on sale once. And I think that was maybe after Christmas um, when they were trying to like clear out some old stock. And even then, you guys, I don't think that they're the candles that sold really well. So um, these do not go on sale very often, but my discount code with Kringle is Katie 15. It will save you an additional 15% off of your order at Kringle. That is an affiliate code where I do earn a commission on any purchases. So always want to put that out there. Don't use it if you're not comfortable with that, but you guys know any commission that I make usually is turned right back around and uh, poured into purchasing new candles for me to review here on my channel. So please don't forget to hit thumbs up if you found this video helpful. Um, let me know in the comments down below, what's your experience been with this one? Did you guys order this when it was launched early last month? Um, what are your thoughts? Do you guys think that it's similar to any other orange fragrances that you already have? Or do you think that this is just kind of it, that it kind of stands on its own, but blends pretty well with some other citrus fragrances? I would be curious to know. Um, let me see other things, you guys, that I wanted to touch on. Lots of reviews coming up this month for you guys. I have lots and lots of summer fragrances that I don't have reviews on yet here on my channel, and a lot of them are still currently available. So if you like dedicated candle reviews, again, make sure you're subscribed to my channel because I've got a lot of them coming up, coming down the pipeline. Lots of homeworks. I've got quite a few Kringle reserves, and I've even got a couple of new Bath & Body Works candles that I've purchased recently. So you'll want to stay tuned for all of those. All right, you guys, this video is a little bit longer than I would like it to be, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it off. I do want to say thank you so very much for spending your time here with me today, and until my next one, I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day. Bye!